Mason's Guild. The Githyanki would call this an Ormalar, an alliance of Mlar. And what is a Mlar, exactly? ahead. Where lies your guilt? The... waning moon. You walk in the darkness unafraid. How curious. A fair point. Perhaps this one could assist us. The murdered lie silent. The raven asks, will you be their voice? Forgive me. It has been some time since I spoke to another. This woman tended a bar where she took her patrons, her friends, into her confidence, promised their secrets were safe with her. Yet she turned their words into knives and stabbed them in the back. They died because of her, and to this day, her victims lie unavenged. Death is not the end, merely another beginning. I seek a record of this one's crimes, written in her own hand. Through it, I can summon her spirit and force her to face trial for her crimes. Such spells are ancient secrets and closely guarded. But I could be convinced to share them with an ally. Your soul sparks with justice, with fortitude. This is your chance to bring a murderer to justice, to avenge her victims. Will you take it? I thank you. As to those who died by her words, Go to the distillery, the one she calls the Waning Moon. Find the ledger and bring it to me.
of Sword Coast. Go on, choose bottoms up. Go not. It's bloated like a corpse and smells worse. Did the curse do this? Leaning in, you can see how the creature's skin barely holds it together. The bulge of its belly is on the cusp of bursting wide open. He looks set to burst, and will probably be left hip deep in his juices. Go on, drink! Make it drink! Be drunk! Liquid burns your throat as you swallow, but otherwise you feel no ill effects. Belly rumbles as the vile brew fills it, yet your mind remains miraculously steady. Quest 
Question, may your query and train once more. <sighs> Mysterious secret, secret. No, not never. Father says, orders commanded. Don't say it. Don't say it. Urgent. Urgent. Talk. And Perish, die, buried, buried in Thorn Tomb. Father told me. Research notes. They describe a powerful venom extracted from a rare purple worm. Distiller Thizable Thorn sought to create a fatal poison using the worm's gullet. He procured several parts of a worm gullet, but rinsed one in error. The poison he brewed was noxious, but not fatal. Thizable devoted months to formulating a deadly poison with the remaining ingredients, without success. After exhaustive experimentation, he was able to make a near-deadly extract from the glands. But to complete his poison, Thizibald required one last ingredient, the petals of a corpse rose. The book's index reveals corpse roses may grow near tombs, mausoleums, and particularly redolent cadavers. Thizibald enlisted a courier from Baldur's Gate to obtain corpse rose petals and other ingredients and deliver them to a covert location. Unfortunately, a deep purple stain darkens the final page, obscuring the parcel's destination. Your mind separates the black from the blue, revealing the stash's location. You mark your map as a reminder. With the corpse rose petals the package contains, you might create Thizzabald's purple worm poison.
my way. The air stirs in trepidation. You have the ledger. To punish a murderer. If that is not enough, leave. I have no time for those lacking commitment. The Raven always knows. We have it. Her lies. Her guilt. Madeline reported her friends to a dark justicia and fled when they were butchered. Well, she flees no more. I will be the conduit for Madeline's spirit. I will force her to face trial. And you will be the judge. Make her beg. Make her suffer. For a serpent in life is a serpent in death. Witness. That I was gonna be punished. That you'd be the judge. But I didn't mean to hurt anyone. I said I didn't mean nothing. That Ben and Mark were just drunk and whining. The Dark Justicia promised she was gonna chat with him. She promised. She gave him a dagger each, and told him to press it against their stomachs on the count of three, to start stabbing, and not stop till she said so. She never said stop. I'd do anything to take it back. Anything. You're right. I'm a killer. A monster. I should have... ...died instead. <gasps> ah, glorious! <laughs> Look! My hand still shakes. You broke her most thoroughly. Well done. If you are satisfied, then so am I. You have done well. Her pain and anguish were sublime. I will treasure it. Here, for your services, should I find another murderer in need of torment, I shall call upon you. Farewell.
Still breathing, despite everything. Breathe deep. Did you enjoy relaxing here while I battled that wretched darkness? What were you thinking? I'm sorry, we got captured by murderous lunatics. I thought you were dead, you ass. Both of you. We're all safe, Roland. That's what matters. I thought my entire family was dead. I'm sorry. We should have been here. No, no, it's it's not your fault. I, I shouldn't have shouted. I'm sorry. Thank you for saving me. And the two idiots. I've lashed out at you, drunkenly and otherwise, and you helped anyway. You didn't deserve that. I'm sorry. And thank you. You went out of your way to help us. It's only right you get something in return. Here. I hope it helps. No splitting up, ever again. You hear? Deal. Go on. You're all right. My gods, you're all right! Come here, darling. I was so scared I'd lost you. Me too. But we're here now. Safe. <laughs> Credit where it's due. Bex, this is the one who helped me and the others escape. This isn't the first time you've helped us. Saved our lives, really. Why? You make it sound so easy. But I know the lengths you've gone to on our behalf. We'll never forget it. Never, ever. Here. Take these for the road. It's the least I can do. Don't call the doctor yet. I've got potions, switches. I know I can do this. Oh, you're a patient. This is the children's ward. Triage is back that way. That's Arabella's father. Or was Arabella's father. I will sell you what I can, once I've stabilized the patient. Not dead. Merely medicated. 
to ease the pain. Yes. Yes. I knew these hands would not fail me. The patient is sure to recover. Not much left now, but you're welcome to look. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got to tend to my patient. Objective of the scalpel sisters is to soothe. For the scalpel indeed is an extension of Sha. See how the patient reacts when I but stroke the right nerve. Hear its comfort, hear the very melody of mercy. Pray, sister. Show us the extent of your beneficence. Stop. Stay your hand, for it slaps where it should stroke. We can hardly hear the patient's sighs of solace. Perhaps it is our unexpected audience that makes you quiver. Come, step forward. You are no sister, but that matters none. Every student is welcome. Behold, sisters, the very face of ignorance. One who mistakes tenderness for torture. Go on, acquaint the face of ignorance with the true object of our studies. Absence. Absence. No other word captures the heart of Shah so very perfectly. It is the scalpel-led journey that leads from pain to peace. Only a beast of a man toys with his victim. Entertaining, if not efficient. See? What is the light of eyes but the cancer that causes one to witness the laceration of being? If light is the symptom, then darkness is the cure. For in light there is presence, but in darkness there is absence. In light is presence, in darkness, absence. You are well on your way, but one white orb disfigures you still. Let us finish the cure. The sisters' blades are bloodied and dull. Only the most measured hand could make a clean incision. Decisions are, as yet, still streaked with imprecision. That much I must concede. How to steady their hands, I wonder. Yes, for are we not all in need of a cure? The scalpel does not discriminate. Let each and every one of you partake in its soothing journey. Absent sisters, acquaint yourselves. It is a proud moment when one sees one's teachings so lovingly taken to heart. to be commended for their graduation, rewarded with the promised cure. 
Come, I will acquaint you with the lady's dark fingered embrace. Your diligence is exemplary. Very well. Your own scalpel you will be. Observe, then succeed me into the sucker of Shah. You? I made it. Easy peasy. You find Mum and Pops? No. No, no, no. I don't believe you. It isn't true. It isn't. Get away from me. I don't believe it. They can't be. Breathe, child. Resist not the winds of change. Let them carry thee. No. No! Listen. Dost thou not hear it? Where creation meets ruin, where morning meets midnight, the root of all being. They're dead! I can't! Balance! Your very soul is tangled in shadow. Arabella's magic, wild as cursed briar. Her talent is now yours, too. The girl must learn the ways of the arcane. But she shan't remain here. The Weave knows her purpose. It will guide her plainly, if she listens. Arabella holds a power beyond reckoning. That of the decaying forest and the seedling that bore it. But it is unbalanced. Her yoke is already heavy. If she walks thy path, it will surely break. Arabella will depart once thou dost leave these accursed lands. She will find her way safely. Thus, it is fated. Bowman, you're making me leave. Fear not, girl. Abandon not the weave, and it shall not abandon thee. I... <laughs> you feel the grief fade as if it were your own. There is a lightness in her now, veiling the power within, soothing it.
Is that my future? Is that why they died? It is. It's wonderful. Thank you, Bowman, for being nice. If there are people like you around, perhaps everything will be all right. She was no fun. All I wanted was to play! me at hide and seek. Will you play with me? I'm Oliver. I'm seven. Will you play with me? an ordinary child but not a spectre either one part of a greater hall something ancient and oddly sad all right i'll hide and you seek find me and you win Then you lose. Get ready. And no cheating. You weren't supposed to find me. You weren't supposed to win. Daddy, don't tell me what to do. Let's play another game. I deserve a chance to even the score. Try to find me again, but my family will be looking for you at the same time, so don't get caught. Further can I go? I win! I always win in the end. You did better than most, though, so I'll let you go. Here. Second prize. You'll need it. I'm exhausted. Better find somewhere to camp soon. Corpse regards you lifelessly. Curse. Darkness. Pain. Samuel. Have to help. Samuel. Spirit. Of the land. In the 
Hell's power wanes. You can ask no more questions. a good moment to talk you prevailed my friend now your path takes you to Baldur's gate but i cannot join you out there the curse still thrives i failed this place now i must remain behind and stand watch over it Good. This is what we've been lacking. Now there's a chance we can find Thaniel and bring him home. What comes next will prove dangerous. Meet me by the shore outside Last Light. We can do our work there without imperiling others. You're here. Good. And not a moment too soon. A winged Asimov was seen in the skies overhead, and now an assault on Moonrise is brewing. We should begin at once, before we lose the opportunity. Thaniel is trapped in the Shadowfell. But thanks to your efforts, I know where to look. Now I must go there, alone. No. This opportunity has been a hundred years in the making. It has to be me. And only me. But I didn't bring you here to witness an old druid's grandstanding. You have a part to play in this. And I trust you will play it well. With the Oak Father's blessing, I can infiltrate the Shadowfell, but doing so will sap my strength. I'll need your help if I'm to return. I need you to stay here, keep the portal open until I return, and defend it at all costs. Good. Now it's important that only I pass through the portal once it opens. The magic is fragile, any mistake, and our one chance will be lost forever. It took me years of study, of seeking the Oak Father's favor to find a way to part the veil. Pray that this works. Oak Father, hear me. Aid me. Force open the jaws of darkness. Make passage for your vessel of light. It's ready. I'll return with Thaniel as soon as possible. Stay close to the portal. Buy me what time you can. It's done. I have him. <sighs> but something's wrong. Dreadfully wrong. No. It can't be. <sighs> 
No. But some part of him is... missing. He's... hollow. I need to examine him back at the camp. Come see us when you can. And be careful out there. Forces may be rallying against Moonrise, but Ketherick Thorm is most dangerous when cornered. I know from experience. Daniel is resting, but it's no easy slumber. I discovered what's wrong with him. The shadows rendered him in two when they bore him away to the Shadowfell. Half of his essence remained here, amidst the curse. What stayed behind would have been the strongest part of him. But after all these years left in the darkness, corruption must have taken hold. It's both simple and not. We need to find Thaniel's missing half and make him whole again. Only the missing half may not come willingly. The curse will have sunk its tendrils deep, twisting Thaniel's essence into something else. No matter how it's been twisted by the shadows, it is still part of Thaniel's essence. It will resemble him somehow and may show signs of his power. Look for signs of life in the darkness, wildflowers where everything else is dead. The curse cannot subdue the power Thaniel bears. Not entirely. In fact, I saw just the sort before, not long after we first came within reach of the Shadow Curse. Fool that I am, I did not grasp their significance at the time. There is a ruin some way outside of Last Light. I caught a glimpse of fresh blooms there, but did not investigate further. I shall mark it upon your map. And you saw this boy yourself? That can't be a coincidence, but we need to be sure. And I truly mean we, if you wish. Every moment counts, and I've asked much of you already without being at your side. If you want me, I'm yours. Against the curse, against the absolute... Anything. Just say the word. In truth, I'm not sure. This is beyond all reckoning. It's still part of Thaniel deep down, but it may not recognize that, or want to recognize that. Perhaps it can be reasoned with, but I'm not hopeful. Reason is not something that thrives amidst the Shadow Curse. I'll be ready. playing again I want a challenge though shrouded in shadows the child's resemblance to Daniel is unmistakable this must be his dark half warped by the curse go on find someone else to play with spoil sport I'm not going back I like it here I've made a family for myself I get to play all the time Harder. Impossible. I don't want to play with you anymore. Back to the shadows. 
after him, Rasto. We need to see this through. Here we go. Everything I've ever wanted, right here! And you've ruined it! I'm not leaving. You can't make me. He's nothing to me. He left me here all this time. I had to do everything for myself. Even when it was scary, even when I was alone, I didn't give up. But would he even want me back? I've changed. A lot. So I wouldn't have to be alone anymore. He'd stay with me. Play with me. I'd like that. And he would too, I think. All right. I'll do it. I want to do it. Bye. And thank you for playing with me. Daniel rests well. He's healing very rapidly, now that Oliver has returned to him. I can't say for certain, but we'll see it come to pass long before this place recedes behind us. <laughs> Don't worry. All is at hand. We can depart whenever you're ready. No more than my right hand can absorb my left. Oliver is helping Thaniel to recover. They both lie dormant, like trees awaiting spring. Once the curse is lifted, they can stand as one or as a pair. Whatever they wish, I hope they will remain as a pair. It will be good for them both to have a friend once I'm gone. Still, I would like to return here someday. See Thaniel and Oliver again. In my meditations, or perhaps in person, if the Oak Father wills it. I hope he does. <laughs> I knew I could put my faith in you. If only we had met sooner. You did it. Catherick Thorm is no more. The Shadow's grip is broken. Soon, the land shall heal. Not as glad as I am. Nature moves at its own pace, and bestows its bounty when it sees fit. Give it time. A reward shall come to you. When you need it most, your path leads away from me, I sense. Be safe. Perhaps one day you will see the fruits that your victory has sown here. I swear, I can already feel a change in the air. Like the curse itself knows its time is short. I have, but perhaps there is more that I want. 
Anyway, once the curse is lifted, nature can take its course without me. I belong at your side. And I'm glad to be had. Glad to be with you, I mean. Catherick's reign of living death is over. Your courage has been tested, and in this, at least, you have triumphed. 